Hi there, I'm Finley. I'm going to be doing my pack overview today for mine and Connor's GR10 uh, attempt coming up in three days or four days time. So I'm really excited. So the pack itself is a Myog pack built by Connor. Uh, it's about 25 litres. Super cool. Starting on the outside, we have my water bottles. That's a 800 milliliter bottle. Then we have a 600 milliliter fuel bottle. And attached to the front, I will have two, but I've only set up one at the moment. Uh, more water bottles, which are gonna be 600 milliliters. Then around this side, I have my Six Moon Designs Luna Solo. Uh, this is my first big trek, so I haven't really done that much camping yet, but I've spent a couple of nights in this and I'm really liking it so far. Around the front we have a solar panel. Uh, we've got this um, quite light, quite cheap as well. We're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be really good, but I'm not really sure yet. Then in the front mesh pocket, I have phone, which will mostly be charging on the solar panel. The Castine B3 water filter. This will hopefully let us carry a lot less water because we'll be able to filter on the go. Some pretty sliced up flip flops. I think these are 101 grams. Not sure they'll last the whole walk, but we'll see how it goes. Then I got a tent pegs in a custom tent peg gram, uh, custom tent peg bag. Toilet kit. And yeah, that's the lot on that. So moving on to the inside. Roll top so I can store quite a lot of food if necessary. Inside we have a plastic uh, bin liner bag to keep it all nice and dry. This is a Frog Togs UL raincoat, I think. It's quite light, but I don't know how durable it's going to be because uh, it's kind of made of like really thin material and very inexpensive. Next we have a fleece top. Now I'm a bit more worried about the cold than Connor is, and I'm thinking I'm going to be using this on top of the mountains, but I'm not really sure, so we'll see how it goes with that one. Then we have a Quetcha uh, down jacket. It seems like a really good down jacket, it was quite inexpensive, it was about £40, but so far I've been wearing it out and about and it's been very, very comfortable, so it should be really good. Next up, this is my cook kit, so I'll show you the inside of this. I've got a aluminium fork, um, 15 grams, not used it yet. Bit worried that the fork prongs are gonna be a bit small, but we'll, I think it's gonna be okay. Then I have inside of here, a Tranger pot with a custom, I think it's tin lid. Then we have the handle for the triangle. A little sponge for doing any cleaning that's necessary. A custom windshield slash stand. Uh, tested this in a garden a few times, it's worked really well. Uh, so I think this is gonna be everything I need. But I am a bit worried that in very windy days it might uh, blow the flames around a bit, but I think it's gonna be good. The Tranja burner itself. This is probably the bit of gear I'm most unsure about because it's quite heavy for what it is. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not sure about this. I might change it up for the walk. This is just a Tranja bar. So next up, we have the Neo Air X Lite Large because I'm quite a bit bigger than Connor, so I need a bigger sleeping pad. Then this is just my Bitsy bag, it's kind of got everything in it at the moment. I'm planning on getting another waterproof bag to move some of the items in here, but it has a medical kit, standard repair kit, head torch. Um, I'll get some of that out to show you. So passport and a super cool ultralight homemade wallet. There's Connor again. Phone cable, which will most of the time be attached to my solar panel, so I doubt it will stay in there. This is more for just keeping it all nicely together. Uh, repair kit for that came with my Thermarest, just in case that gets a puncture. 
eye cover so that I don't wake up really early. Sun cream. Seems like a heavy item to be taking, but I think it's probably wise. What else have I got on here? I have a bandana cross towel. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting, drying myself with that. Standard medical kit, plasters, pills, lip sole. Uh, again, another bit of kit that I'm not sure about because it's my first walk, I think I'm going to take it, but Connor's pretty anti-head torches. This is USB rechargeable, see how much I use it, maybe in future hikes I'll drop it. Uh, and then, just last few bits and bobs in here. Cut down toothbrush. Toothpaste, knife, and a little bit of shampoo. So moving on, just got a bunch of sleeping pants. The trouser sleeves for my walking trousers, they're zip on, zip off. Um, I think these are going to be good, but we'll see again how it goes. These are in gingy toe socks. Uh, really loving these, been wearing them around when we'd be doing test hikes. Haven't got any blisters so far, but I haven't really put any proper miles on them, so... Might get some bad blisters on the trail. This is a fleece trousers for sleeping in. Um, our quilts are pretty, pretty thin. So if it's cold nights, these might be necessary. And then with the fleece top, but again... I think it might be quite warm on the walk, looking at the weather, so we could be alright without them. Uh, walking, walking pants. A little flannel to wipe my face. And then the final item is the quilt. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.